This is Thomas A. Bradley. Thomas is a horror author struggling to make any real traction in the self-publishing business. And he's in desperate need of an author brand overhaul. And we're about to give him the surprise of a lifetime. Are you kidding me? Nope, not kidding Are you. Are you kidding me? Are you out of your mind? And just when he thought that was all. Oh my God. Okay. Um. Thank you doesn't even begin to cover it. Before we get to that, we need to rewind just a little bit just to kind of figure out how we even got here in the first place. Being an indie author has its fair share of struggles, not to mention over the past year in 2020, it's been an outright dumpster fire and it really has affected everyone across the board, indie author and even those outside this community. We here at Self Publishing with Dale like to think that we're indirectly helping those out that really need it here in the community. But this time around, we wanted to directly help those in need, and especially those that, you know, honestly have been putting in their lion's share of work and really deserve a little bit more of a leg up. And that's where Thomas comes into play here. And why we reached out to him is his very interesting backstory. Writing, I started writing a long time ago. Uh, I've got probably when I was 14. Um, first tried to get, you know, the normal, normal rule the back then it was typewriter and carbon paper if you messed up you didn't delete you re rewrote in 1974 thomas started in the army medical corps during the vietnam war after his active duty enlistment he went to college to become a virologist and became very successful at it 2008 i ended up getting a pacemaker and i went back to work and towards the end the company i was working for dissolved the virology department I was 53 years old at the time with a pacemaker. Good luck trying to get another job. But you can't keep a good man down. And Thomas, with all of his abundance of creativity, wanted to put it all into a short story and submit it to a writing contest for the Horror and Words magazine. Little did he know, it would actually get published. That was kind of the start. And then after that, it just started oozing out of me, so to speak. So that's, it became a full-time job obsession. Just when things were looking up, things went from bad to worse in 2013 when adversity would strike not once, but twice. I was diagnosed with spinal stenosis in my neck, which compressed my spinal cord and uh, myotonic muscular dystrophy, which is adult onset MD. I can't operate in my hand. I mean, that's kind of like a claw. If you can see it's, it's typing sometimes. I can only type for minutes at a time. So going back to handling live viruses was out of the question. The more time I spent with Thomas, the more I came to appreciate that Thomas was not only passionate about virology, but he had so many other things. But here's the problem. He was limited. He couldn't do some of those passions. I used to play guitar. I can't do that anymore. As far as the writing, I don't feel that shackled because I can always take a break and get up and wander around a little bit and come back. Book writing is no longer just a hobby for Thomas. This is something that is a career of his. And despite all of his physical limitations, he manages to power through all of it. To me, the success is knowing I have a, a following or a group of people that that, that they, they want the next book. They, they got to read the next book. And you would think, his biggest struggle would be his physical limitations, but that's not the case. My greatest struggle is marketing. It's it's my nightmare. Things have, have turned around a little bit, but not enough um, to jump up and down and bang my head on the ceiling about. Let's not be confused. This is not about a pity party or we're looking for sympathy for Thomas. In fact, he'd be the last person who would want that. What we would like to do is bring attention to and celebrate the fact that Thomas has gone through wartime. He's handled dangerous viruses. He's had physical impairments and diseases, yet he's powered through every single one of those. So what we wanted to do next here at Self Publishing with Dale in coordination with the fine folks over at Fiverr was to give Thomas a complete author brand overhaul. This means you're gonna get brand new covers that are just going to be showroom ready and get it to be undeniably the best in fiction writing and also get some better ad copy put together for your book descriptions not to mention the back-end keywords so you're more discoverable and of course working on a marketing and promotion strategy that's not going to break the bank and it's also going to help to get you moving further along and in front of more people you are blowing my mind you are i i don't even i can't even 
I'm speechless and my wife will tell you that's rare. <laughs> To be clear, we can't make any promises here to Thomas. We're not going to be able to get him to an overnight sensation. What we're going to do is just course correct his direction so that way he's headed to more prosperous waters and he's not having to worry about whether he's going to get a $50 paycheck, a $100 paycheck, or $200 paycheck. He's just going to have to worry about doing what he does best, which is writing. Over the course of four weeks, Thomas and I worked together painstakingly on numerous things, including submitting the orders to over 10 different cover designs and all of the necessary expectations they had for each one of those. We also hired consultant Brian Meeks to tweak one of the book descriptions and then built out a template with that specific model. And then from there, we also figured out his backend keywords and what he could better leverage into those spots to get more discoverable. And then last but not least, a more sound marketing and promotional strategy that wouldn't drain his bank account and get him on the right track. Let's go ahead and get to the big reveal. Are you ready for the reveal? I don't know. I'm, I, as I said to you <laughs> earlier, you know, I hope I'm not going to need a new battery for my pacemaker because they're so great. But yeah, I guess I'm ready for the reveal. All right, let's go ahead and hit cover number one here. This is for the Relic of the Damned Carpe Noctum. Holy crap. <laughs> I mean, the color. I, I, You saw what I had mocked up real fast in GIMP because just as an idea. Yeah. I mean... That looked like a child's crayon drawing compared to what I'm looking at. Let's go to t cover two. Relic of the Damned, The Coming. This is, this is, this is beyond belief. Isn't it pretty impressive? Cause you, you can take part one and part two and you can see there's some, you know, a congruency between the two of them. It matches up and it feels just right, right? It, it feels perfect. It's. You know, I, I'm not being obsequious here. This is amazing. It's <laughs> it's blowing my mind. I don't even have any words. It is pretty incredible. Let's keep the uh, ball rolling because naturally cover number three is going to be the entire collection. Uh, Relic of the Dam, complete and unabridged. And of course you got an epic cover. Here we cover go. Holy, oh, holy moly. <laughs> oh, this is, oh my God. Oh my God. This is the professional cover that Stephen King's um, publisher would get put on his covers. I mean, this is this is beyond amazing. Yeah, beyond amazing. Fantastic. Uh, All right, let's keep this train rolling. We've got more covers to reveal, so let's go to cover number four. This one's the Shadow Demon. Oh my God! Oh, I love the I love the the little spikes beside the the the. Yes. Um, Jesus, oh my God. And then the clouds now, are amazing. This is, this is beyond what anything I, I could have expected. Awesome. All right, let's get number five. Let's go ahead and put, put it forward here. This is blood tracks. Oh man, oh man. With the blood on the blood tracks. That is, and the teeth. It's better than anything I could even have dreamed about. All right, let's keep it moving. Cover number six. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my, oh, unbelievable. I mean, the <laughs> font for Primordia with the, you know, degrading letters type yeah. thing. That's perfect for this book, perfect. Alrighty, let's go on to cover number seven for 13 Echoes. Yes, yes. You know, when I did the mock-up on this one, mm -hmm. I was worried that the clock faces were too bright because they were all white mm -hmm. and that um, you weren't going to be able to get a good cover out of it. And this is, this is amazing. And to me, this just screams Twilight Zone. Yeah. Number eight, which actually, this is one of the stories from 13 Echoes. A uh, good one, by the way. Oh my God. I mean, this is, uh, yeah, this is jumping yoises. Yeah. Wow. I, you know, I couldn't even describe this if I had this image in my mind. Yeah, fantastic. All right, let's go on to cover number nine. Number this is nine. Another one is called The Last Transaction. It was another one of the short stories from 13 Echoes. Wow, that came out way better than than I imagined. I, I had all kinds of trouble just doing the, you know, this is the idea for it. And um, 
that's and and to me this kind of encapsulates the idea of the story too it's jesus mm -hmm. yeah that's yeah you could i couldn't ask for any better i couldn't yeah yeah all right we've got one more cover to hit and that'll be the number 10 here after we share the last cover with thomas we reveal a shocking surprise that leaves him speechless i did ex i did not expect any of this i i but before we do get to that we here at self-publishing with dale would like to thank our sponsors fiverr if not for their generous contributions and the tireless work of livia pro design none of this would have been possible the greatest way to give back to this channel and fund future videos like this is to visit fiverr at our sponsored link and give any of their freelancers a shot today again very special thanks over to fiverr Thank you. Uh, number 10 is actually your upcoming release you're going to be working on. It's called The Bones of Sarah Galskew. Uh, and it's also gonna be part of a full series that you're gonna be putting out, uh, horror thriller books. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at it, number 10. Here we go. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Holy crap. I mean, you get a picture in your mind mm -hmm. of what you're gonna get back from the crayon drawing you sent. <laughs> And, you know, and instead of getting back a, a 10, you get back 110. Uh, so I'm out of words. I'm out of breath. I'm out of ideas. It's good. So to me, I feel like this story is just not complete until I can equip you with all the right essentials to really get your business going forward. So I reached out to a few friends of mine and with their permission, they said, hey, they would love to go ahead and contribute. So the very first thing I went ahead, I reached out to Pro Writing Aid and they're gonna contribute a lifetime access to Pro Writing Aid. So that means that you can do all of your editing and everything else like that with Pro Writing Aid for life. Uh, and you are, know are me, you, Chef's Kiss. Are you kiss. kidding me? Nope, not kidding Are you. Are you kidding me? Are you out of your mind? So that's a $400 value Pro Writing Aids contributing the lifetime access. Lifetime? Yep, lifetime access. Somebody dropped you on your head when you were younger. That's <laughs> amazing. Well, oh my God. Yeah, yeah uh, so uh, next up too, I reached out to the gang over at Book Brush. As you know, Book Brush puts together some great assets uh, for doing, say, social media, if you want to do 3D cover iterations, and they're gonna give you one full year free of the gold plan. And that right there is going to help set you up with anything that you need to for the next year. Uh, it's, again, covered on the house, uh, gold oh, plan. Oh my. God. Also, you get one month of the Book Award Pro Pro Plan, which means you'll be able to submit it to one free competition. They do it all for you. You, you are trying to kill me. You really are. <laughs> You've got all those things kind of going for you, and it got me into thinking uh, some of the tools and resources I like to use, I really want to give you. So I reached out to the Alliance of Independent Authors, and they don't necessarily give away or do anything for free for anybody because uh, they are a nonprofit organization. So right. I decided that I'm going to go ahead and pay for your next year on the Ally Author Plan. That's $120. You'll be able to get all the different perks like uploading to Ingram Spark. They waive all fees. That will be $50, $25. You get discounts, benefits. You get their entire library that you can do all your research. You can network with other individuals. And even ally members are able to land interviews with uh, special opportunities. So, for instance, Howard Lovey, he actually has his own um, podcast called the Inspirational Indie Author Podcast and you're able to go on there and speak more about it. Now, I can't promise you that you'll get that booking, but all that to say this, that you'll have $119 you can go ahead and spend towards the Ally Author Plan and get yourself set up. You are killing me. You're killing me. You're, oh my God. Oh my God. We got to get you equipped even more even better than, than this. So what I wanted to do was make sure that you had some miscellaneous business expenses covered or even get some of your personal needs covered. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you $100 on a gift card that you can use for whatever you want. It could be marketing and promotion, it could be for groceries, it could be for anything that you want to. All that to make sure that you're ready to rock and roll. You are out of your mind. I am super appreciative. I don't have the words. I, I... Oh my God. Okay. Um... Thank you doesn't even begin to cover it. 
I did. Ex I did not expect any of this. I, I was super happy that you reached out and were willing to even help me with my keywords. Way, way, way back when, when I had trouble, I was spending sixty dollars to make thirty dollars, and then I bumped into you, and we had a a, a a live chat, and you looked at my stuff, and you said, "This is what you're doing wrong," blah blah blah, and then after that. I was spending $30 to make $60. I was happy with all of that. And then you come along with this. <laughs> I'm done. You win. I lose. I, I have, well, I win on a big scale, but yeah. I, okay, you're killing me here.